In today's Procreate tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to draw this beautiful seascape with a boat in just a few easy steps. No drawing experience required. All you need is an iPad with Procreate app and Apple Pencil. All tutorial files are linked below the video. Now if you are ready, let's get started. For this project, I've created a canvas with the dimensions of 2K by 2.5K pixels. If you'd like to follow along with me and get same results, you'll need this color palette and a set of custom brushes that I made specially for this tutorial. These extra brushes will make the drawing process fun and super easy. So even if you're a complete beginner to procreate, no worries, I will explain you every single step and share my own tips and tricks along the way. You will learn how to draw clouds, water and sand in the easy way. Both color palette and brushes are free to download in the video description. You can find all my free products on Gumroad and if you'd like to check out my premium products, you can join our creative community on Patreon, where you will find in-depth Procreate drawing tutorials in different styles and hundreds of premium quality brushes. The link to my Patreon is also under the video. With that being said, let's begin drawing. In the first part of the tutorial, we will start working on the background, apply base colors and textures, draw an island and palm trees, then in the second part, we will add foreground plants and in the end paint a boat. I'd like to start with water. As the base color for it, let's select color 10. And here you can use any drawing brush you like. For example, it can be technical pen from Inkin or monoline from calligraphy. It doesn't matter here. We can just set the size to around 22% and draw a horizontal line in the center of the canvas. Like this. If you tap on it, it'll go perfectly straight. Now let's draw a curve on the left side to define the shape of the seashore. I'll start from here and go down like this. To the right side. Let it go to the edge here. And now we can fill the space. If you slide your pencil to the sides, you can adjust color drop threshold. Now let's try to remove the sharpness from the edges. And for that we can use Gaussian Blur. Let's find it in the adjustments. And just slide the pencil a little bit to the right. For not more than 3%. In order not to make it too blurry. Now after we did that, Let's change the background color and add sand. To change the background color easily, we just need to tap here on the background color and then select color 1 from the palette. Now that we have the background, let's draw sand. We will need a new layer for it, so let's click on this plus button here and then drag this layer underneath. As the base color for the sand, Let's use color 3. And to fill this area easily, we can use rectangular selection. It is here under this icon. So I picked rectangle from the menu and activated color fill option. So we just need to outline a rectangle like this. It'll be filled. Let's remove selection now and add initial texture to the sand. One of the ways to do that is to use noise. It can be found here in adjustments. So let's select it from the menu and just slide to the right to 14%. So we will get this. But I want to add another texture on top of it. For that we will need a new layer. Let's create it here and set it to multiply mode. So we can use the same color, but it'll get dark. Now let's open the brush set for the beach and select sponge cake texture 1. We already used it to draw choco pie. If you missed that tutorial, you can find it here on my channel. Let's now set the size to around 12% and just draw like this. Now let's click on the arrow 
and use freeform transformation. I will just drag it down like this to add perspective to the sand. Now we can also grab a razor, set it to soft brush, and erase the texture slightly on top, and also close to the water, so it will look like it is washed. Like this. In the next step, I want to change the color of the sand, especially of this texture. And for that we can use Hue Saturation Brightness option. It can be also found in Adjustments. So let me set Hue to 54%. Also increase Saturation. Let's say to 71%. And lower the brightness a little bit. To 49%. It'll get more yellowish. Alright. Let's keep it for now. And add more shadows after we put the boat. In the next part, I want to work on the water, but actually before doing that, we can put an island here, on top. So let's go here and add one more layer. We can keep using the same color and just draw an island using technical pen. Let's start with the horizontal line. It'll go a little lower than the horizon. So I will start from here, go to the left side, and if you'd like to make it go perfect, just tap on the canvas. And on top I will draw a curve, starting from this corner, and going slightly upper and upper. We can make more curves here. And then it'll go to the edge like this. Now that we have the shape, let's drag the color inside it to fill. I will keep it for now. And create a layer underneath. So we can draw some trees. As the base color for the trees, let's select color 5. Then I will go back to beach set. And grab pine tree branch. It works just great to draw trees, especially far away. Now with the size set to 6%, let's start drawing like this. Making circular strokes and also moving the pencil up and down. Going to the right side like this. We can make more curves. I think we can make this one bigger. Then it'll go down again. Then a little up. And I will make it narrow here on the tip. Now we can grab a razor. Set it to medium hard brush. And remove it from under the island. Just keep it like this. Also, if you'd like to adjust the shape, you can use liquify in push. Just stretch it up or down, however you like. I will push it a bit to the left side here. And after we have the base shape, we can add some shading and details on it. So we can just alpha lock this layer and select color number 6. We can keep using the same brush. Maybe just make the size a little bit bigger and apply more strokes on top, like this. I will increase it even more here and keep moving to the right. Some of the strokes may go more down. Let's highlight it more here on this edge. And also maybe make a stroke at the lower side. 
so it will also work as grass. Like this. And after that, let's add a couple more details. I want to try to add color 7. Just on some places. We can just lower the opacity, so the color doesn't get so bright. I will put it here and there. And for even more details, let's grab color 8. I will create another layer, just because I want to use another blending mode. And here I will also change the brush. In the same brush set, there is a brush called Abstract Foliage Textured. This one is from my Easy Paint set. It is a patron-only brush set. It has this very nice foliage texture, so you can paint trees easily. But in this case, we just need to lower the size. Let's not forget to clip the layer. And I will set it to soft light. Lower the size. And just make a few strokes on top. You can do it by tapping or by making strokes. So we will get some detailed foliage. Now I want to create one more layer, right above this one, and add a few small palm trees. Let's use color 6 as the base color, and also select hard gouache texture brush. We just need to lower the size. Let me try it. I think it could be set to around 2 or 3 percent. And I will just make random strokes. Like this. They may go to different directions. Then I will add a few here. Just creating palm tree silhouettes. I will draw a smaller one this way, then another one here, they may have curves like this, just resembling palm trees, so I'm not making it very detailed. Let me just put another one here, and I will start making it faster, continue moving to the left side. They may have various shapes, but I will keep it very simple. Maybe the last one here. And after that we only need to draw trunks. For that we can select some light color, like color 7. And also I will go back to technical pen from inking. Let's lower the size to 10% and connect the leaves with the ground by drawing these lines. Some of them may go as arcs and have different angles, like this. Let me draw these two, then another one here, and the last two, like this. Now let me grab a razor that is set to soft brush and remove the tips like this. And now when the trees are ready, let's shade the island. We have it here on the layer 4. We just need to apply alpha lock to it to keep the color inside. And from the palette I will select color number 9. Let's go back to beach set. And select grass blade basic brush. We can set the size to around 8% and start making strokes at the lower edge. 
make it go horizontally like this. We can make the size even bigger. Make a couple more strokes. Change the pressure. Then I will go to the base color by picking it right from here. Lower the size a little bit and make a stroke at the lower edge. Just like this. So it'll look more a little highlighted. Okay, now the shape is almost ready, but I think it looks too perfect. Let's add a few imperfections to it. And to be able to do that, we first need to unlock the layer. Now we can go to Adjustments and select Liquify option. We can switch to Crystals, set Pressure and Distortion to maximum values, and adjust the size. Let's try to use 21%. Just make a stroke along the upper edge, like this. We can try to make the size bigger. Just go along the side. Then I will switch to push mode. And push it a little. We can also work on the lower edge. So it doesn't go perfectly straight. But a little bit curvy. Like this. Now I like how it looks. So I will keep it. Now let's go here and create another layer below. So we can paint a cloud, but before doing that, let's add a gradient to the sky. For that I will select second color from the palette. Go to spray paints and grab ultra fine nozzle brush. We can set the opacity to around 90% and the size to maximum. Start making strokes at the lower side like this. Going a little upper. So we will get the slight blue tone. And right after that, we can draw the cloud. For that we will need a new layer. And we also need to change the color. It'll be number 4. From the beach set, let's grab soft edge paint. Let's increase the size to around 47% and draw a cloud shape. I will start drawing from here and make circular strokes. To keep it slightly textured, I will apply very low pressure on the pencil. Slowly move upper and move to the right. We can also try to tap. Here I will add a bigger stroke, then another one, and finish it on the side like this. Let's now paint inside the shape. We can make a few adjustments while doing that. I will make it go a little upper. And finish it like this. Just make a few more strokes. And now it is fine. Now that we have the base shape, we can add a couple of highlights on it. 
and to keep the color inside it, we need to apply alpha lock. Now let's go to the color disk and select pure white color. We can do that if you double tap here on the light area. Let's lower the brush size to 40% and highlight some of the parts. For example, we can put the highlight here, then also on this part. Go down on this one. Then I will create a bigger one inside. Like this. And the last one on the right side. Now after we did it, we also need to add shadows. But instead of drawing them, we can use a razor and just erase part of the cloud to reveal the sky. It will look like shadow. Let me go to eraser and set it to pine tree branch. Let's set the size of the brush to 7% and opacity around 60%. First I will start making strokes at the lower side to make it darker. We can adjust the pressure while doing that and create various curves. Also go up a little and continue doing it going to the right, like this. Let me erase this part here. And also here on the side. We can make a few smaller strokes. For example, here. And another one to separate these two parts. So it will also work as a shadow. Like this. Now that the cloud is ready, I will just go to the layer and lower its opacity to blend it more with the sky. I will set it to 88%. After that we can create a layer between these two. Use this color number 4 and also sponge cake texture. I will set the size to 35% and just tap a few times on the background with very low pressure. Now it is ready. We can go to the layer with the water and start working on it. First I will create a layer on top of it and add a clipping mask. Let's apply a few highlights, starting with color 11. Here we can use ultra nozzle brush from spray paints. It is at full size. And I will make a stroke here. We can lower the size a little. And just highlight this part a bit more. Then switch to color 12. And paint more close to the edge. And after that, we can also add a shadow. But for that I will add one more layer. And also apply clipping mask on it. Let's set it to multiply mode. And select the base color. This time I will lower the opacity of the brush to around 55%. So the color will get darker, but not very dark. Let's put it here on top. 
and also under the eyelid. Like this. We can also try to paint vertically to blend the textures. In the end, I will select color number 5. Lower the size. And create one more layer in normal mode. Actually, now we can already merge this. Just to reduce the number of layers. Now we can create one more here. And clip. Let's apply the texture here on the edge. And move under the island. Let me make the size even smaller. And finish it here. So it will work as a shadow. Like this. Alright. Now the colors are added. We can also work on the textures. We can now merge these two layers. Then create another one on top of it. Of course clip it. And I will set the layers mode to soft light. So we can apply the texture using white color. Let's select it from the color disk. I will double tap here again. And go to the beach brush set. Here you will find a few textures with ocean. The first one. And one more. Let's start with number one. I will set the size to 18%. And just make a stroke like this. All over the ocean. It will also go upper. Now let's click on the arrow. And switch to distort. I will drag it down first. And then make this part on the right wider. add perspective to it, so it doesn't look flat. Let it go this way, like a pyramid, and then I will deselect. Let's now grab a razor and set it to soft brush from air brushing section. Let's remove it from top. I will also erase it under the island and remove it gradually. Right after the pattern, let's also add foam on top, close to the seashore. We will need a new layer for that, so let's go ahead and create it on top of this one. I will also go to change the color into number 13 and pick a different brush. It will be realistic gouache paint. Let me adjust the brush size. It can be set to around 5 or 6 percent. And I will start drawing lines along the edge. Adjust the thickness. And just make these curves. They may go inside and outside the water. Let me just continue doing it. Here I will add more lines, even increase the size a little bit, to make it wider. Let's make another line inside the water, then a few lines outside it. I will keep tiny spaces between them. Let's also draw here. Make more curves. Another one. Then I will make a few strokes with straight lines. 
going to the right side so they will look like yours this way okay now we have the base shapes let's turn it into foam and to do that i want to use liquify tool again as i already said we need to go to liquify tool but use it in a different way this time let's switch to crystals set pressure and distortion to maximum and the size can be at around 51 percent i will do this Let's hold the pencil almost horizontally and pull the waves like this. Try in different directions. Let me do it this way. We can also change the direction to make a few strokes inwards but I will follow the direction of the waves like this let's work a little more on it I will push this one just doing it this way and also outside let me push this one We can keep it a little bit wavy. Just keep doing it until you are fully satisfied with the results. We can try to switch to push mode. Remove distortion. Lower the size. And work more on these lines. I want to make it a bit shorter, like this, and then I will switch back to brush. Also change the color into number one. Use the same brush, but put it to a very low size, somewhere between one and two percent. You start drawing horizontally. Let me try to increase it a little bit. A few lines may go more to the right side. Let's also put a few here. Then I will also grab dark color from this part and add a few more lines. The size can be bigger here too. Let me make a couple more strokes. And now it looks more like water. Alright. I think we can add another texture here. So let me create one more layer. And select color 13. Let's find ocean 2 in the same set. This texture is also seamless. We can set the size to around 22% and just make a stroke like this on top of the water. Now let's click on the arrow and distort it. We can change the angle of it. This way add more perspective.
Let me lower the opacity now. So it will appear only on the sand. And we can remove it from the water. Let me try to duplicate this one. And move it up to like this. I will erase some parts of it. And now it is fine. I like the result. So we can keep it for now. And in the next step, work on the foreground. I think we can add a palm tree on the left side. So let's create a new layer for it and place it above all layers. Let's start with the leaves. I want to apply a few colors here. So we can try to start with color 6. And also select hard gouache texture. It will be our painting brush. Let's set the size to 7 or 8 percent. And draw a few typical palm tree leaves in painterly style. I'll start from the right side, since we have this light green color selected. It will be a highlighted side. Let me make the first arc. And then another one. By changing the pressure, we will get more or less texture. Let me lower the size a little bit. And I will paint inside. Alright, now let's draw another one. Make it slightly different. But go in a similar direction. It may have this shape. So I will paint inside it first. And then finish this part. Let me also paint it. I will keep it slightly textured. Like this. Then it will go more down. So let me draw the first arc like this. And on the opposite side. I will make more strokes. It will be the side view. Of a leaf. We can now add a bigger one. It may start from here. Then also go down. I'm drawing an arc on top again. And then painting at the lower side. Let me fix this one a little. And then I will add this textured edge. Now the right side is ready. Let's go to change the color into number 5. So we can draw the inner part of the leaf. It will look darker. Due to the shadow. Let us start from here. I will draw an arc again from this point and then finish the shape like this. Let's try to match it with this side and then I will also make it curvy. It may go straight a little. And 
then I will finish painting inside it. All right. Let's now select this green color again. Or we can actually try to use this one, number 21. So it will look slightly darker. Here we will put the tree trunk. So I will start drawing to the left side. Make another arc. Like this. And then also paint it. It may have different shapes. I will make a few more strokes. And now this one is ready. Let's try to find a darker color. It will be number 25. So I will draw another leaf that will go to the left. Let me add an angle to it this way. Then it will go down and after that I will finish painting it. Let me make a few more strokes that will go down this way. It will also have the side view, like this. And after that, we can even try to use color 14. Let it look even darker. I will put this color here. And paint the leaf like this. We can try to apply different techniques. Just do it however you like. Alright, let me go back to this color. Put another leaf. Starting with the arc on top first. And then I will make it textured like this. I think this brush works just fine to draw palm trees. It is very handy. I will just make a couple more strokes to finish it. They may even overlap. And on the top part, we can draw the biggest leaf. For it, I will select color 20. Let me put an arc here. And then make strokes like this. I will paint inside it. Let's make sure there are no gaps in the center, so all the leaves are intersecting. And it looks quite nice from distance. Now we can add even more colors to it, to create the effect of shadows and highlights. Let me create a new layer with the clipping mask. And I will start with these leaves on the right. Let's add a couple of highlights. For that I will select color 8. The size is set to 8%. And I will draw like this. Highlight the top side. Now let's also draw from here. 
then it'll go down to this side and we can paint it completely. Just follow the angle. We can now try to change the color and add the lighter tone number 18 on this one. So it'll look even more highlighted. I will put this color here on the edge. Let me tap and hold here, so I can go back to the previous color. Let's start making strokes here, on top of the shape, but this time I will also make it textured like this. Highlight it on top first, and then we can also add the shadow, to see the inner part of the leaf slightly visible. Let me just pick the color from here and make shorter strokes, like this. And on top of the leaf, I will add this light color again, it is number 18. Just make a few more strokes closer to the edge. Alright. Let's continue going down, select color 8 again and add a small highlight here, right on the tip. We can also add color 18 here, again close to the edge, so the leaves will have a few colors. I think this one is ready, maybe I will just make a longer line here, with a smaller size. We can even use a razor to fix it. Alright, let's continue with this one. So first I will add color 8 on it for the highlight on this side but then also add the shadow in the inner part we need to find some dark blue color let's try this one number 30 and in order not to make it too dark we can go ahead and lower the opacity to around 68% I will make a stroke here I think we can lower the opacity even more and just make a few strokes like this to create the shadow. Let's also put this color here on the next leaf. Just make a few strokes. And then also add a highlight, for that we can pick the color right from here, from the leaf. It will be this green. I will put it right here on the tips. Maybe this color looks a little bit too dark, so we can try to use this one. It is slightly lighter. Alright. I think now it looks much better. The next color is also dark, so we can select this green and put it here. As you see, I'm trying different combinations. Just checking which one works. Let's add a shadow here too. And I think we can select color 19. I will put it here on the edge and also inside the leaf. Since we have all the leaves on one layer, just try to be careful and not affect other leaves. 
while painting one. Alright, this one is also done. Let's select dark color number 30 again. Just put a shadow here. This time I will draw on top of the leaf. To darken the side like this. We can try to adjust the brush size. And make smaller strokes. Ok, let's consider this one is also ready. Then I will grab blue color again. And put it on this one. I will just set the opacity to maximum. And then make a couple of strokes. At the beginning of the leaf. We can now continue this color on the green part. Make a few more strokes inside. Make them bigger. And go up. And at the end I will apply another highlight on the right side. Let me just make a bigger stroke here. And after that I will go to select color 8. So we can put it here. On the edge. Now it looks highlighted. I will go back to the blue color and put it slightly here to add one more shadow and also some texture. Alright, now shading is done. I think we can add some extra texture on top. So I'm merging these two layers and creating another one on top of it. Let's also clip it and select color 18 from our brush set. Let's select sponge cake texture. Set the size to around 25% and just make a few strokes inside. I think we can even scale it to make the particles look bigger. Let me also move it a little bit. And after that, I will go and alpha lock the layer, so we can recolor some of the particles. Let's apply light blue color here. We can select it from this part, but then go to the color disk. Or maybe we can just pick color 17. I think it'll fit. Let's now select soft brush and apply this color on the left side to turn yellow particles into blue, like this. Now the leaves are totally ready. We only need to draw the trunk. So let me go ahead and merge these two layers. And after that I will create one more layer below for the trunk. As the base color for it, let me select color 15. And we can use hard gouache texture for drawing. To paint it with one stroke, let's set the size to 11% and try to keep constant pressure. So let me start from here. Make a straight line first and then turn it into a curve. Go down like this. Let me adjust it a little bit here at the bottom. We can just make it slightly wider. This way. Alright, now I like the shape. Let's shade it quickly. I will add one more layer on top of it and clip. So later we can adjust it. I want to start with a highlight and for that let's select color 3. 
and also change the brush. This time I will go with wattle bird from materials. Set the size to round 4%. And since the right part will be in shadow from the leaves, we can highlight it on the left. Like this. Just paint slightly. So the colors will look blended. I will just keep it orange on the side. And we can press even more, right on the edge. Now after we did that, let's also add the shadow. And for the shadow I'm going to use color 16. Let's paint from here, apply very low pressure first, go slightly upper, then I will press more here. We can set the size to around 3%. Then I will keep a highlight and shade this part on top. Now let's apply the same color at the bottom. I will also start from here. Go a little upper with an angle. And paint it completely at the bottom. Like this. Now to add some dimension to the dark part. We can grab color 23. Lower the size. And make a subtle stroke here. On the edge. Maybe another one on this side. And after we did that, let's go to adjust the colors a little bit. I will just increase saturation to make this part brighter. We can set it to around 80% and it will be fine. Now I will deselect it and create another layer. Let's also add a clipping mask to it. And I will set it to pin light. So we can select color 19 from the palette. And also hard gouache texture. Set it to a very low size. I think it could be around 3%. And draw these arcs around the trunk. This way. They will change the angle from here. And go up. Till the end. Let me just make a few more strokes. And it is now ready. In the end, I will only add the final texture. So let's create one more layer for it. Then clip it and set it to screen. We can grab color 9 from the palette. And also sponge cake texture. Let's set the size to around 20%. And make a stroke on the left side. Like this. I will just erase it from the dark part. And keep it only here. Now the palm tree is ready. Let's go further. And draw a boat. We can definitely merge all the layers for the palm tree except the leaves. I just think we can add some more contrast to it. Let's do it quickly by creating a new layer and clipping it. Let me set it to overlay mode so we can apply two colors. White color on the right side and black color on the left. 
Let's start with white. I will select it from the color disk. And here we can try to use soft brush. The size can be set to around 15%. And I will make a stroke like this. To highlight the tips. Now we can grab black color. And make another stroke on this side. If we check it, we will see the difference. And now it is completely ready. Let's merge these two layers and also these two. After that I will create one more layer on top for the boat. It has a shape that may seem a little complicated to paint, therefore I created a sketch and turned it into a stamp brush. It will help us paint the boat easily. So we have black color already selected. Let's go and pick the boat stamp. Set the size to 23% and just tap on the canvas. Now we can move it and I will drag it a bit down and to the left, so we have some space to paint the foreground and it will stand on the foam, like this. Now we need to apply base colors. For that I will create a layer under the sketch and lower the opacity of the sketch a little bit. We can actually go to the color palette now and select this dark color 28. Then I will select pine tree branch. Set the size to 1% and draw this line to separate the boat into two parts. It will be this textured. Now let's add one more layer, right under this one, so we can apply more base colors. Let me now pick color 30 and also technical pen for drawing. Let's outline this part on top. I will start with this curve. Then go up following the sketch. Let's try to make smooth lines. So I will do it with one stroke. Like this. Paint the small part here. Then this curve. And draw at the lower side. First make this arc. And after that finish the straight line. Let's connect this. And after that drag the color inside to fill. Now we can add one more layer under this one. Select color 28, which is darker, and draw the inner part. I will start from here, draw another short line, and then go to the right. Let's close the invisible part of it, and also drag the color so it will be filled. Alright, now dark parts are ready, let's draw this big one in the center, using light color 26. We need to create a layer under this one, and start outlining from here. Draw a small curve, then go down, draw this curve at the bottom, This way, then a vertical line, and to fill it, we need to close the edges. 
like this. Let me try to drag the color inside it. And it worked. Now we only need to paint this small part at the bottom. I will add one more layer for it. And select color 23. We just need to continue this part. Then paint the lower side of it. Go up with a small line. Match it. And after that fill. Alright. Now after we applied base colors, we can proceed to shading. I want to work on the white part first. So let me create a layer on top of it. And I will clip it. Let me now go to materials. And select Total bird brush. It will work fine here. Now from the color palette, we need to select color 25. Let's set the size to 6% and start in this part on the left side, applying very low pressure to it. Then I will lower the size even more and darken the side this way. Then I will pick light color again. And paint on top. Ok, now that this part is ready, we can actually continue using the same color. It was number 25. Just increase the size. And create a shadow here. It will also go to the right like this. Let's keep the edges very soft. Then I will stay on the same layer, but change the color into 27. We can actually now remove the sketch. And introduce this extra color. Mostly on the right side. Now we can pick light color from here. And add some texture to it. From the same brush set. We are in materials now. Let's try to use saw tooth. Just set opacity to 78% and around 16% size. I will just start making strokes going up like this to add a subtle texture all over the boat. And after we did that, we can finally pick this blue color number 17. Lower the size. Maybe even more. And draw the shadow on top. Right under the dark part. It will continue going to this side. Let's make it a bit more textured. Then I will make this part wider. And add more blue. So it will look like a triangle. Like this. I will just go back to color 27.
and tap a few more times for more texture. So it will look more blended. Like this. Just switch in between the colors and tap in more. I think we can even try to add color 5. To make the shadow slightly darker. Right under the line. Ok. Now I think it is fine. Let's continue working on it. Maybe I will just grab Liquify. And push the color a bit to the left like this. Make this part a little wider. Just to get a more natural shape. Alright. Now it looks perfect. We can switch to the blue part. It is here on layer 18. I think we can just alpha lock this one and select color 29. I will be using the same brush. Just make the size smaller and start to apply this texture on top. Let's also work on this small shape. Highlight it on top and on the right. Like this. Then I will continue and move to the right. Just highlight the top side this way. Let's put the texture here. We can make it slightly wider. And on top of it, we just need to add another highlight. So let's start with color 17. Then I will select pine tree branch from the beach set. Its size is at 1%. And I will make stroke in the middle. We can increase the size a little bit. Just not much. And continue drawing this scratch. It'll go down like this. We can add another one. With the bigger size. And it'll also depend on the pressure. So we can just press more. And above this blue line, let's also add white. I will select white color from the disk. Just put it on some parts. Also press more. Let me put it here. Then I'll add a thinner line. Add a couple more here. On the side. Alright, this part is also ready. Let me just try to go back to color 17. And make this line a bit longer. Ok, now it is fine. All we need to do is shade this red part. At the lower edge. But before doing that, let me adjust this dark line. First of all I will duplicate it to make it darker and then merge these two layers. After that we can also fix it using Liquify. I will make it slightly curvy and move it like this. Alright. Let me grab the color from here. I will go to the layer with the shading. 
Then select Wattle Bird from recent. Let's lower the opacity. And just continue this line with the shadow. Alright. Now it is done. We can definitely merge these two layers. And go to the layer 21. It is this one. Let me also alpha lock it first. And then select color 16. I'm switching back to sawtooth. We can lower the opacity even more. I set it to 70%. And adjust the size. It is set to 4%. I will start making strokes at the lower side. Then go to the right. Let's darken this part. Also this edge. Just a little bit. Then I will make the size smaller. And draw a thin line to create a shadow. Right under the light area. Like this. Let's make it textured. And go all the way to the right. Like this. Here we can make the size bigger again. And add more dark color. On the edge. Let's make a darker line. I will just press more here. So we build the shading gradually. And with a very big size, I will just add texture. Now we can go even darker and apply color 24. We can bring back the sketch here and continue the shadow. That we started on the light part. I will just lower the brush size. We can set it to 3%. And I will just make a stroke like this. So it goes as an arc. After that we can remove the sketch. I will adjust the edges a little bit. So I just made the size smaller and I will make it match with the previous shape. So it looks better. We can add another line here. And darken some areas. Like this. Now this part is also ready. Let's just draw a rope to tie the bow to the palm tree. For that we will need a new layer. So let's create it on top of all layers for the boat. Then select color 26. And realistic gouache paint. The size can be set to 2%. And first I will draw a short line here, on top of the small shape. Then add another one, that will cross it. And after that it will go to the left as a curve. Like this. Let me make it more visible, but it will pop up after we add the shadow. For now we can just keep it. Like this. 
Let's now merge all the layers for the board. And then add a layer under it. We can also put it under the palm tree. Right here. Then we need to pick color 14 from the palette. And also set the layers mode to multiply. Let's apply wattle bird here. From material set. I will just start making stroke this way, under the board. Go all the way to the waves. Let's make it wider here. And after we did that, we can apply smudge tool. It is set to the same brush. I will adjust the brush size and smudge the edges a little bit. Like this. Let's also smudge it here. So the shadow will become scattered. And now it is all fine. Maybe just the edge of the boat looks very flat. We can add some sand on it. We have the boat here. So we can just alpha lock the layer. Actually it is already locked. So we can select some sand color. Let's pick a lighter tone, then go to beach set and select sponge cake texture. I will set the size to 8% and just make a few strokes back and forth. Like this. Alright, now it is ready. Maybe we can just duplicate this layer with a shadow. And then lower the opacity to adjust darkness. Let's set this one to 35%. And now it looks better. Everything is ready except the foreground. We will need a new layer for it. So we can add some grass. We have already spent much time on drawing other elements, so now we can use some magic to create foreground plants that will take a couple of minutes. I drew it beforehand and created a stamp that already has two colors. This brush is called grass. Let's select it. Set the size to 40%. And then we need to pick two colors. Is the first color. I will select this dark green from the palm tree. Now let's go to the color disk. Tap here and select color 8. Now we only need to tap inside the canvas, somewhere in the middle. And we will get this. If it didn't work properly, you need to go to actions prefs and check if dynamic brush scaling is turned on, otherwise it won't work. Now let's click on the arrow and fit it to canvas. I will enable snapping in the settings and just drag it down to match it with the lower side, like this. It may go a little down. And now after we did that, we can add even more colors to it. By using color balance option. Let's select it from the adjustments. And then tap here. I will start with the shadows. 
and add more blue color. Like this. For the mid-tones, we can add more green. And for the highlights, I think we can add some more yellow. In the end we will get this. You can try to experiment with your own colors. Right after that, we only need to add some contrast by changing curves. So let me move this slider to the right side and this one to the left, so it will look more contrasted. Now it looks great. Let's deselect it. And to finish the drawing, we can only add some birds in the sky to fill this empty space. We can create one more layer and also select white color. There is a brush called Tiny Birds. Let me select it and set the size to around 8%. I will just tap a few times in the sky. We can also scale it. I will remove snapping. Then we can rotate it and put it somewhere here. And after this final step, our Paradise Island illustration is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!